everyone, today's DIY, I'm going to show you how to make some super easy peasy and fun braided scarves. These lovely scarves make fantastic neck accessories, or you can make these into thoughtful gifts for someone special. So let's begin, shall we? For materials, I like to use jersey knits. These type of materials drape very nicely. They're stretchy, easy to work with, and super soft. You can also use some oversized t-shirts that you like to recycle. Depending on the thickness of your fabric, you may need between half to one-third a yard and 40 inch in width. Tools I would be using are some rulers. I like to use this rotary cutter, but you can also use some sharp shears, aka scissors. My fashion sewing teacher always called them shears, so I just call them shears ever since. Lastly, these are iron-on adhesive. If you're sewing, you do not need to use these, but this is for my girls who do not have a sewing machine. I've always make sure to have these thingies laying around in my home. They're quick fixes. They're great for seam finishes on lighter weight fabric like what we will be using today. I don't recommend these for permanent usage on thicker materials. They won't last so long. Oh, and I forgot the iron. We will be using the iron. Okay, so with knits like these, I don't need to sew in the raw edges because it would naturally curl inward. To begin, I'm basically folding each side in. Then I'm creating a U with one overlapping the other. Next, take out one end of the fabric and loop it under and out of the U, just like what I'm doing here. Make two loops for both sides. Then when you're done, give it a little pull on each end but make sure not to do it too tight. After that, just make little adjustments here and there. If raw edges are sticking out, you want to tuck it back in. Okay, so once you're done with that part, look for the raw edges on the inside of your fabric. Now, you can take out the iron on adhesive and place it between the right sides of your fabric, just like the way I'm doing here. Then pin it this in place if you like and then iron it together. Make sure to use a medium to high setting on your iron and to prevent any melting synthetic, press and lift, press and lift the iron as you go. Be careful not to have adhesive melt onto your iron just because it's going to be a hot ugly mess. However, the adhesive should melt and bond your fabric together nicely. Uh, and make sure to let it cool before trying to pull on it. Your seam should look nice and seamless just like this here. Okay, so we are on to the last step and before we link the scarves together, just make sure that this is your desired length. Just cut where it's necessary and how short you want your scarves to be around your neck. Uh, your next step would be to press the ends together by following the same steps. Take the ends of each color right sides together, add the adhesive, and press it. That is it. Make one, and the next one should be a piece of cake. For the second style, make yourself a tube by cutting your t-shirt or fabric to your desired width and length. Bond the ends together like the way I demonstrated earlier. Next you will need to make the braids. You can do this by cutting 1 to 3 inches thick strips. The thicker the strips, the thicker your braids will look. You may need each fabric strips to be about 50 to 60 inches long. Once you cut your strips, tie the ends together then braid it as you do with a regular braid. Make sure as you braid to tuck in the raw edges that are sticking out. This will make your braid look better and a lot fuller. Once you're complete, tie the ends to the other end so that way you could create a circle, an infinity type of scarf. I suggest you make different lengths so that way it could drape around your neck nicely.
Once you have the amount of braids you like, take a scrap of fabric, something long enough to tie the braids and the tube together. You're going to tie that and then tuck in all the raw edges. Then you're done! Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe if you like. I will talk to you guys next time. Ciao!